Hello third grade families, thanks for tuning in again today. Today we're going to look at different algorithms for subtraction. Algorithms for the subtraction is really a fancy way of saying different subtraction strategies, different ideas to subtract. Let me forewarn you, some of these you've probably not seen before, and that's totally cool, the kids hadn't either. But also let me tell you, they might kind of freak you out a little bit at first, but I think once you actually watch the strategy, you'll begin to see it. And this just shows how differently kids think. To be in the same room, the same community, those minds are still working differently. So, I want to begin with probably the way myself along with you guys were taught. Uh, this is just your standard way to subtract. Here I have 418, 249. I tell the kids all the time in order to be successful in this, you have to make sure the biggest number is on top. So we begin in our ones column, 8 minus 9. The big number is not on top. So I go over to the tens column, and I borrow a one, so that turns to zero. And this 8 turns into 18. Now the big number is on top. 18 subtract 9 gives me a difference of 9. Now that the tens column is the big number on top, 0 and 4. No, it is not. So I've got to move over to the hundreds, borrow one. That 4 is going to turn into a 3, and I borrowed once. That 0 is going to turn into a 10. 10 minus 4 gives me a difference of 6. 3 minus 2, the big number is on top, gives me a difference of 1. So 418 minus 169, or I'm sorry, 418 minus 249 gives us a difference of 169. Way number 2 to subtract. This is using expanded form. As you can see, I still have 418, I have 400, 110, 8 ones, along with 249, I have 200s, 410s, and 9 ones. Okay, now this is really good for the kids that like to do things visually, to understand why. Uh, instead of just taking a number and moving it, what happens? Okay, I once again check, is the big number on top? It is not. So I go to my tens column and I borrow a 10. That 10 becomes a 0. So I move the 10 over here. 10 plus 8 is what gives me 18. That gives me 9. Big number on top, 0 minus 40, it is not. So I'm going to go to my hundreds and I'm going to borrow 100. So 400 minus 100 is going to give me the 300. And I move my 100 over here. 100 plus 0 gives me 100. 100 subtract 40 gives me a difference of 60. Big number on top, 300 minus 200, it sure is. That gives me a difference of 100. Now put it back in standard form. I have 9 ones, 6 tens, and 100. So there, just like before, my difference is 169. Okay, now I'm not going to start out with the same problem here, but I am just going to start out with a problem that only goes to the tens columns. This is finding our nearest friendly number, which I refer to as counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. In a moment, that will change. But for right now, first I'm going to ask my kids, what does 24, what's the next highest friendly number? Well, if I'm counting by tens, 10, 20, 30, it's going to be my next highest friendly number. So I ask the guys, what did I have to do to 24 to get 30? They tell me we had to add 6. Okay. So, I do the exact same thing to the top, just add 6, and that gives me 47. So now I have 47 minus 30, all the big numbers are on top. 7 minus 0 gives me a difference of 7. 4 minus 3 gives me a difference of 1. So, if I actually wanted to work this out, I'd have to borrow, that becomes a 3, that becomes 11. 11 minus 4 gives me 7, 3 minus 2 gives me 17. So I'm getting the same answer. Okay. Well, what I want to do really quick is I want to put this into perspective if we had a number to the hundreds column. So, just for time's sake, I want to go ahead and use some of the same numbers. Uh, instead of 41, let's say I've got 419 and 224, I'll go 200, uh, let's go 418, minus 249. Okay. Now, Obviously, I can't. The first step I need to do is the same thing. I need to find that next friendly 10. Okay, so the next 10 up from 249 is 250. I asked the guys, What did you do to get 250? 
they tell me they had to add, and they only had to add one. Okay? So I do the same thing to the top. I just add one. So now I'm looking at 419 minus 250. I still don't have all the big numbers on top. So we found their friendly numbers for the tens. Let's find their friendly numbers for the hundreds. I tell the guys to look at their bottom number. What's the hundreds friendly number that comes next? They know the next hundred after 200 is 300. I ask them, how did they get from 250 to 300? They tell me I added 50. So I do the exact same rule to the top. 250 plus 50 is 300. 419 plus 50 gives me a total of 469. Now I'm in a great position to where all of my big numbers are on top. 469 minus 300, 9 minus 0 is 9, 6 minus 0 is 6, 4 minus 3 is 1. I'm getting the same answer for this algorithm as I did for the expanded form algorithm, algorithm as I did for the algorithm that you and I learned when we were kids. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is, this really helps the kids, the visual kids, that, that like to see the action. Okay, now I've already gone ahead and done some work here, and if you'll bear with me, I'll explain it as we go. Now, our problem so far has been 418, subtract 249. All I've done is created a number line, 418 at the highest point, 249 at the lowest. They need to find their friendly 10. Okay? So their, their next lowest 10 is 410. And then I ask them, how many did you take away to get there? They tell me, well, we subtracted 8. Okay? We've got 410. I need them to tell me, what's their next friendly 100? Well, they know the 100 right below that is 400. 410 minus 10 gives me 400. As you can see, all I'm doing up here on the humps, I'm writing how much I took away. Now, what's the next 100 I'm going to encounter? Well, I'm going to go from 400 to 300, and they tell me that 400 subtract 300. They subtracted, or they got 100. Now, we're approaching our number, so we're going to go back to our 10s. 300. Minus 10 gives us 290. 290 minus 10 gives us 280. 280 minus 10 gives us 270. 270 minus 10 gives us 260. 260 minus 10 gives us 250. We're almost there. 250, we need to take away one more to get to 249. Now, add all of your numbers up on top. 1 plus 10 is 11, plus 10 is 21, plus 10 is 31, plus 10 is 41, plus 10 is 51. 51 plus 100 is 151, plus 10 is 161, plus 8 is 169. Yes, have some of these strategies taken a little longer? Of course. Have they shown it a little bit more? As well. What's important is the kids know that they have options, and in my room they're more than welcome to use any of them. I really appreciate you taking the time to tune in. I hope this video helps you, and maybe you can help somebody else. Have a good day.